Tonight, honey, I got to work in the morning. Who said that? Oh, good God, no. John, what's wrong? The fish, they've been eaten. Looks like some kind of wild animal ate them. It doesn't look like they were eaten. They are just torn up. Such a waste of food. I must find this animal so I can eat it instead. Wow, that sure was a lot of dramatic camera movement. John, wait, Pat, what do we do? I am not sure. I don't think I've ever seen him actually care about anything that much, it's refreshing, in a terrifying sort of way. Well, I vote we don't let Johnny get ripped apart by a bear. I thought El Paso was a desert. Let's split into teams and go get him back. We clearly just saw him run in this direction, why can't we just go as a group? Excellent plan Brandon, Brian, you stay behind and watch the camp. What the hell is that thing? That must be the thing that ripped apart the fish. I think that's a chupacabra. What are the odds it's going to rip us apart as well? I would say fairly hot. Quick tip, give me your lighter. I gave up smoking. Tip please. Damn it. Sorry, I know smoking isn't good for you. No it isn't. Well damn it, this is exactly the reason why I hate listening to anything Pat has to say. Yeah, this isn't worth what he pays us. Wait, does he pay you? Well yeah, he pays all of us. He doesn't pay me. Maybe because of inflation he can't. Wages should be tied to inflation, anytime cost of living goes up so should everyone's pay. What if an employer can't afford to pay the raised cost of employee wages, as they too are subject to the inflation? As pay goes up, costs and expenses go up, then inflation goes up, then pay would go up. However, pay as based on a percentage of other costs are stagnant since the late 70s. That's right I see you, you scaly bastard. Get down here so I can eat you. Hey. Hey. I can't help but notice you're going about this all wrong. What would you recommend? I bet that's the last time he'll underestimate a cardboard box. Yeah, or a butcher's knife. Huh, I thought we were just going to catch it. Damn it, what are we going to do? Fight it off, the only way we know how. Alright let's eat, I am noticeably uncomfortable. What's the problem Jeff? It could just be a coincidence, but the book talked about how the souls of the children, hid themselves inside the bodies of furious beasts, so that La Lorena would never find them. Well, we found them. Hooray they are free. No, they won't be free until La Lorena is locked away at the bottom of the river. Well I mean we're about halfway finished, let's just leave that for the next person. But what I am concerned about, is that she must have been watching us all this time, if she heard us say we killed her children we might be in trouble. Nah, 
I am sure we are fun. You killed my children. Quick follow me back to the campsite. Okay now what? I am not sure, I just thought it might be a good idea. Well we're screwed. Wait I know, we could tie a rock to her and throw it in the lake, that would fulfill the legend. How do we tie a rock to a ghost, we can't even touch her. And even if we could, we wouldn't want to, otherwise we'd have to watch that video HR gave us again. We need Hans. That's right. He's my personal servant we can ask Hans. Ugh, you rang, sir. Hans I need you to help us defeat another ghost by tying a rock to her and throwing it in the lake. Wait, who is Hans again? Remember that guy who hated Tip, and wanted to get rid of him so he could steal all his money. You'd need to be more specific. Go get her Hans. I lost to a cat, yet you want me to fight this thing? Alright whatever, whatever happened to that cat? I think Hans needs help, the book also talked about how if we believe in a hero, he will arise and help us defeat La Lorena. You sure have been keeping a lot of information to yourself, we just need to think of a hero. I know someone. Who? I don't know, it just popped in there. I knew he would come. Could it be? It is. It's local basketball legend, Ron, Baskins. See, this is the shit that makes people want to kill you guys all the time. Quick pass me the rock. Good job Brian. Little help? We did it. Now her spirit can rest peacefully, not really, she's just stuck at the bottom of the lake, and she looks kind of pissed. Well that's the kind of problem you always want. What kind? Someone else's. It appears my work here is done. That's right coach, go rest in peace. And me sir? Back in the jar. No, you suck you suck you suck. Well Pat, after all of that, do you think you have the inspiration for the Halloween special now? Yeah, but you know what, the hell with it? Then why the hell did we come out here?